The absurdity of TikTok never ceases to amaze, and I've got five more absurd TikToks that we must try. To start off, we've got a cheap versus expensive one coming in with 12 million views. Cheap versus expensive. Oh. Versus <laughs> I think this is a mockery, but <laughs> drywall saw versus a recip, let's go. So we got a drywall saw versus a recip saw with a demolition blade on it. I definitely should win according to the video. So you wanna bet Chick-fil-A? Count us down, Tyler. Three, two, one, go. Uh, 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 box them out! Uh, uh, uh. Uh, actually, I didn't really fully cut through it. I know, we were close. That was way closer than I thought it would be, and I've hip bumped him twice. Gonna have to say, I'll take the W, tray of uh, chicken nuggets, please, and two, probably worth the views, because that guy gave us a hell of a laugh. Next video. Up next with, I think, 4.2 million views, we've got this sucker. Workers will understand. Oh, I already know. I hate this. <laughs> this is the lazy, how can't you line the holes up? Uh, well, I'm gonna build one, but like, I don't believe in this. We also use mesh paper around here. Let me get some blocks. Now I gotta line up all the holes to line the holes on where the holes are gonna go. You stack the paper one by one. Oh, look at that. Oh, how convenient. I'm saving zero time. That's what you're supposed to do. There's no way in hell loading this with paper just to put that on is faster than just putting down the thing and going like that. Holes. Stupid, not approved. This one. This one coming in with, I think like 4.2 or 4.3 million all over my For You page. I think it's gonna remind us of something, Jordan. Check this sucker out. You see this thing yet? No. So this dude did a waterfall edge on a live edge slab, which is absolutely stunning. Uh, Wildman Designs Co, phenomenal job. But then he stood it up on the side instead of using it as like a tabletop. I think it's a brilliant use of a live edge slab, but it reminds me of the, mm. the one we did for Victory a couple years ago. So we did a waterfall over the front of it. I love seeing things used in unique ways that are normally like, you know, everyone thinks that wood's just like a tabletop, especially slabs and stuff. I'm not gonna build one because I already have. You guys can check that video out, link down below if you wanna see it, but fantastic job there. All the views, well-deserved. 42 million views. Pretty nice looking mallet, two moose designs, okay. I like this guy, he does some cool stuff, he does some funny stuff, I, he got some good content if you guys aren't following him. Little flush trim saw for the top, wedge top. Ooh, crispy, good looking mallet. Looks like we gotta build a mallet now. Walnut cutoffs, I love you. Cut off of walnut, some paduke. I have no idea where this stuff came from and I really hope we don't need it for a project. I'm gonna make some chunks and then I'm gonna make a handle and then we're gonna make some magic. Things haven't seen love in forever. Sorry, my boys. I'd say this, since I am doing some woodworking, we should probably talk about Woodcraft, the sponsor of this video. If you guys are looking to do some woodworking like this, get into building mallets or anything out of wood, I highly suggest checking them out. They've got stores all across the United States physically. They got an amazing online website. They're my favorite place to shop for all things woodworking. And uh, they've been a huge supporter of the channel for a long time. So if you want to get into stuff like this, check them out woodcraft.com or check out your local store. Whatever that angle is, you can see here, we're gonna have that inside here. Bam, bam. So I'm gonna put some glue on it, glue the sucker up. Prepare for the comments. That's not the way you do it, you idiot. Trim that all out. Ruin a chisel. One of the shittiest part about this TikTok is I gotta put more glue on this and then let it dry overnight. We don't even get to celebrate today. Some glue on here, let it set. He didn't turn his. I think we should turn ours. Why not? Yeah, I remember when we did that, we were like, we'll just pull it out when you wanna use it. I turn once a year. Correct. All right, you plug me in. Last time I turned, it was like, it was epoxy. 
Oh boy! That didn't go well at all. <laughs> Quick turn. Yeah, that's it. See? It's nice. It's real. Getting smooth. It's getting smoother. Yeah, it's getting smoother. You know what I was thinking while I was grabbing this sandpaper tile? I thought, man, it'd be awesome if I had a uh, contraption that could hold my sandpaper so I could just put it straight down on it because I can't align the damn holes. If you're wondering, my kids, why I left this long, I'll just get a nice, I'll get a much cleaner edge there than cutting that beforehand, pretty much like anything else. Okay, she's close enough. Before I spew that in there and can't get it out, we're gonna wedge that top, and that's literally gonna be the part that the video got famous for. So, we're gonna cut a slot. And I'll touch this up before we. I hope everything lines up nice. Was scared that if I put it in, it would get stuck again. And as everyone knows, to build a hammer, you need a hammer. Now, after two days of work, this is totally gonna break in here. So this is the TikTok right here. Wow. Hammer. So it's wedged in, looking slightly above average. This is the part that got all the views. Got a cutter flush. And he comes in with the Dremel. I'm gonna do it a different way. <laughs> so you're more likely to tear out, not you. This is so dull, it's just covered in glue. Gosh, who was using this to scrape glue? Trim that all out. Ruin a chisel. Are you in here for this tight shot? Because the people want the tightness. Gotta get a little more tear out. So the Dremel's actually smart, and then you come back on the edge after the fact and clean that up. Last thing we need, some Total Boat wood honey. Why? Because I plan on eating food with this mallet, and I need food safe finish and it's a cute bear. Aww. Oh, pop walnut pop. Pop walnut pop. An adorable mallet with an adorable little total boat bear. So much cuteness. All right, let me get this on here and then we need to smash some stuff. All right, so the mallet is done and the only way to test it is obviously with seasonal fruit. Yeah, it's a fall. All we have are pumpkins. And this is small Gino, he's new here. We're swinging on three, Gino. You ready? One, two, three. And for my last trick coming in at a cool 50.3 million views, we've got the legend, Dusty Lumberco with another ridiculous joint. That damn saw. This radial, I looked this thing up, I think it's like $7,000. Boy, does it cut clean though. I will say, I had a blast doing his last joint, mostly because it was with big pine, which is really easy to work with. Now he's throwing another blade. Once again, I don't have this tool, so this should get quite interesting. I'm gonna have to figure out how to how to do this. Little hand tool action, there we go. Now onto a drill press. I got that, I got hand saws. Busting out some chisels, cleaning her up on the bottom, I love it. A little miter on the end there. Slide them in for me, slide them in. Give me the satisfaction, oh God. Oh. That, that, there, those are some tight joints. Let's try it. First, we need big pine. Got it. This is as big as I can get. His look considerably larger. So we've got to cut these into here like this. So I'm going to mark out uh, this sucker first. These are five inches long. So we're going to mark every inch. So here's what I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut all these lines, I think, first, and then I'll come back, put on a dado stack, and then run that through. I'm gonna come through and I'm gonna stop cut. I'm gonna flip it and do the same thing, and then I'll adjust it. Test fit, 
If I did, if I was anywhere close, we should be sneaky in here. This one's a little heavy, which is the one we just cut. I'm just going to tap the fence over a nut hair and redo it all. This is a fun one. If you guys aren't following Dusty Lumber Co., check dude out. He's uh, he's just building awesome stuff. And oh, where'd that come from? I made it ten minutes ago. Pretty much all I'm gonna do now is clean these up. I'll show you guys that technique he uses. So more or less, what this does is it creates a shoulder for the 90 degree cut. I was say, well-balanced mallet. Whoever made it must be very handsome. Last cut and this should be it. All right, we're gonna sneak up on this bitch. Let's do it. Moment of truth. Tough one to put together. Ooh, son, that looks pretty darn good. For not having any of those tools, and I definitely don't have the same skills as he does. I think this thing turned out awesome. If you wanna see me do more awesome TikToks, check out this playlist right here.